Hello! My name is Lucky Man and welcome back to God of War. On the last episode, we kicked, we kicked the shit out of a dragon and uh, we acquired shock arrows and mistletoe braided uh, arrows as well. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stop Kratos and, and, and Sun from getting to the sut. It was in our path. Nothing more, nothing less. At least according to uh, Kratos. Let's try out these shock arrows, boys. Ow, fuck. I'm hurt. You hurt me, you dick. Well, stuck. Wonder if there's another crystal around we could use on those roots. Or we have you. Or not. So I have to find a crystal, huh? That's not annoying. Ah. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Yep. Take it out, boy. Oh, I'm gonna like this. You're strange, though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once. It's glowing again. Take it out once more. Really? Ow. Dicks! Get down! Out the sky! Fucking assholes! Come, Atreus! We have adventures to go to! Lay down? Alright, now lay down. Good boy. Get out the sky. Oh, simple thing, where have you gone? I'm getting old and I need someone to rely on. So tell me when you're gonna let me in. You gotta find a way to lower that bridge. That has to be the way out of here. Or, 
boy, over here. This one's called Emi. Mother tried yeah. to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Odin, my favorite god that I'm going to be killing soon. Ah! What's that? Ah! No, not yet. Back up we go. Get out of shattering things with this. Yep. Uh huh. Okay, and I'm, uh, that's gonna bug me if that yeah. stays there, bud. find the other ones. No shit, Atreus. I'm looking for it. Shit. Move, Atreus. Boy. Boy. Sir. Okay. That's going in the journal. Let's see one more fucking seal, dude. After I open this. Oh, hello! That was it. Oh, 
All right, let's get uh, more mead, I guess. No, that's an apple. Okay. Come, boy. Onward. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Must be, boy. Okay. Not long now, Mom. Took me a minute, but I, I, I we're almost there. Seem familiar. So close now. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? That's awesome. Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Here we go! You're in my way! I'll deal with you in a moment. Not that way. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Oh, hey. You know why we're here. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He can't die. Must be important that the sons of. Thor came to grace me with her presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! Those are Thor's sons. I don't think you want to... When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are. Oh, I don't want to fight Balder again. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy well, we took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. How can I help you, Mimir? He doesn't know what you are. 
that I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me in prison here for 109 winters. Ah, oh, damn. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. I'll kick I'll kick you off the fucking cliff of trays. Boy's mother is dead. She was to She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim. Realm of the giants. Well, goddamn. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Great. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. Let's do it. We're going to Jotunheim, right? Absolutely. It's the best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, okay. <laughs> Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Wouldn't himself see it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This. Am I about to have a talking fucking this head on my journey? Living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? No. I'm going to cut off your head now. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Great, awesome. Cool. I'm gonna have a talking head. Badass. <laughs> I love it. We're going to Yona. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's. that's oh, what's this? Inconvenient. Yeah, that's. How many masks have I collected? The last cipher! I think. No? Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Bet. Which way are we going? We're going down she this way? back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. That's where we're going now. And 
we go. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought it and won. Yes. One of For now. Sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. Yeah, that's fair. Could be. My kind. I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. There's the other d there's the door. Hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. He didn't even touch it this time, actually. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Thank you. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Nothing. Nothing. I'm leaving. He gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has a sense to sip or suck. Get him. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. I know the path back to the witch. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Under it. Is that another story? Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. That's, that's it. I like that story, on actually. Here. I know where we can fucking dock. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Really? I, I wonder why I can't travel to that one. It's kind of used. Come, boy! I know she's really powerful, 
But you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. Fuck. <laughs> and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Lay down. Lay down, dude. Fuck. Well. And now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. She was about to piss me off, dude. Ah! I bet this will be out. Hey, this does more than decipher those loose behind words. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? That'd be pretty dope. But maybe later. Need to find the rest of these uh, seals. What even are you? my chest. Why are the runes so difficult to find? Atreus, follow me. Be right there. Okay. All right. Um What's this?
I'm still looking for one more thing. One more fucking rune. Found it! Yoink! Awesome. What do you got for me? Another apple? Yep. No, that's another, uh, horn of blood mead. Okay, I just need one, I need another one of those chests now. Okay, uh, I kind of want to know how that, uh, how this gateway thing works. We'll need something to get through this one. It's not that kind of thing. Got it. Look here. I'm sure it is. Good. Keep it up. Rev this fucking suck, dude. Another one of those bowls of sand up there that I drew the runes into. Not sure how we reach it. Father, look up there. Fine. Come on down, Atreus. Aha! Up we go.
I'm confused. Right, right, yep. Turn back AC. Guess the guys aren't welcome here. Wonder why that would be. Oh wait, I know because they're fucking dicks. There he is. I hope he remembers us. Uh. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Really? Leave me the fuck alone! Save their neat things upon all who trust them. The fuck did you say? What does it say? Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hen. Ah. What's up here? Cool. Awesome. Great. Let's go see our witchy friend. My friend! Father, she is here! It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Don't hug my kid. You oh. haven't earned that yet. Can you bring a head back to life? I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. Okay. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them. Understand? Do you understand? Don't Say touch it. my kid. I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. They work so cool. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. But they were so cool. They were green. Almost like the green arrow. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? Oh, uh, I got this for you. Happy anniversary. <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? He asked me to. At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? 
please? Take him to the table. <laughs> I can't do this. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Thank you. Thank you. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. He did ask me to do now, it. Hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. <laughs> Kratos has no gives no fucks. <laughs> He'll do whatever. That's enough. You waking up, my friend? <laughs> hey! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. That's fair. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. Freya! Okay. You well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow Freya. if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. I mean, I'm a god. Are you really going to lecture me about that? Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm very pissed. <laughs> Come, boy. We cannot trust her. Sure we can. Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Oh, oh God, God damn it. Brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. You got it, boss. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. In your face. No. I'd like Speaking to know. Balder, he claims nothing harms him. Hi. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. <laughs> He'd be useless to me otherwise. Mamir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Why do you always look so guilty? Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Speaking to the world serpent. Good. Now put my lips to the horn.
still, still hate it. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno. saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, I thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Thank you. Wait, look. The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Hell yeah. get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. I'm gonna go straight for the chisel. Which way um, to the chisel? Boat under the bridge, keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Tell me why Freya Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, the wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. 
and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. You can tell later. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Yeah, They've we're taken leaving. three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Father? Maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out while we... Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This We're not going to look for the bones right now. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant, who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, uh -huh. he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. You'll see. Oh no. You found the village? Aye. 
When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Ah, oh, I see. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. This is locked up good. Oh. Okay. Skin pauldrons. Three's company. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. It kind of looks like Johnny. Very good question, Atreus. Hey, hard in the world tree staff. That's Andy. There it is. The crystal. There it is. <laughs> 